Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. I hope you all are doing great. So this is part 26 in Azure Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist. And in this video, we are going to learn how to set up an email alert with the help of Azure Log Analytics in Azure Data Factory pipelines. So whenever any ADF pipeline fails, we want to trigger an email alert with the help of Azure Log Analytics. So we will see everything practically in this video. So let's move ahead. So our use case is to capture ADF pipeline run details with the help of Azure Log Analytics Workspace. Okay. So basically Log Analytics Workspace works on top of something called Azure Monitors. So there is another resource called Azure Monitors which continuously runs and monitors the health of various other resources within Azure. So Azure Monitor is actually very helpful in terms of monitoring, tracking and logging the errors that we get when we use ADF or any other resource in Azure. Okay, so let's go ahead with the points here. So Azure Monitor provides the data and helps us to ensure that all our applications are up and running and are in healthy state. Okay, so whenever our application is down or if there is any outage in certain region, we can actually use Azure Monitor to help us get the email notification and it can immediately notify us that the application is not ready to use. Okay. And then the next point is Azure Monitors also helps us to avoid potential problems in any application and also troubleshoot the past problems that we identified with the help of Azure Monitors. Okay. We can also use Azure Monitor to gain deep insights about our applications. And it also helps us to automate the actions that otherwise require manual intervention. So as I told, if there is any downtime, then instead of checking the service health, we can get the notification easily with the help of Azure Monitor. Okay. Additionally, when we talk about Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Factory stores the pipeline run details only up to last 45 days. But with the help of Azure Monitor, we can keep the data for longer period of time and we can customize the queries in order to get the pipeline run details of more than 45 days as well. Okay, so which queries we have to write in order to uh, use the Log Analytics Workspace? It is nothing but Custo Query Language. Okay, it is called Cakewill as well. Uh, so let's go to Azure Portal. Let me go to Azure Data Factory Portal. And here you can see under monitor tabs, we can see the pipeline run details. Okay, so these are all the triggered pipelines. So this view gives the details of all the pipelines which are either manually triggered or with the help of system, it has been triggered with uh, these trigger runs. Okay, so you can see the triggers existing uh, and uh, active triggers here in the uh, manage section. Okay. So let me go to monitor again and then if you want to see all the debug runs execution details you can see here and you can customize your uh, view with the help of different filters. So by default it is 24 hours you can change it to 7 days or 30 days. So if I hit on this last 30 days and click on OK it will give us the all the pipeline details or pipeline run execution of last 30 days under debug uh, runs. OK and you can customize it as well by changing the dates when we customize it we can only see the details of last 45 days okay not more than that so although we have lots of options here to monitor our pipelines but we have limited options here so what we can do is we can customize our query as per our requirement with the help of something called log analytics workspace in azure portal so let me go to azure portal and search for log analytics workspace here so you can see this is a resource under azure portal and we can create a new resource here. Once we hit on that, we need to supply subscription details and resource group name. Okay, I am selecting the existing resource group and we have to give a name to this log analytics workspace. So I'm going to give it as a new log analytics. Okay, and let me hit on review plus create. So it has passed the validation. Let me hit on create. So you can see the deployment has been initialized and in few moment log analytics workspace will be ready. So the deployment is in progress. Let's wait for a few more minutes. Yeah, so you can see deployment has succeeded and now our log analytics workspace is ready. Let me click on go to resource. So now since our log analytics workspace is ready to use, we need to connect it with ADF workspace. Okay, so either we can go ahead uh, inside ADF and we can search for diagnostic settings 
and we can directly create a new diagnostic settings here which allows us to create these many logs okay or what we can do is we can go to azure monitors you can search monitor here and we can go to diagnostic settings present in the monitors as well under settings tab and here you need to filter by resource group here we have the option to enable diagnostic setting for multiple resources at once so we are going to just go ahead with the azure data factory so i am going to select that itself and since it is disabled we need to create a new diagnostic setting and we need to enable it so let me add a new diagnostic settings and we have these many options here we can create the logs for pipeline activity runs and we can create log for pipeline runs we can create log for trigger runs or if we have debug pipelines we can use this sandbox environment or sandbox pipeline runs to log the debug run details okay so similarly we have uh, the log details related to ssis package that we can monitor with the help of these options and we have couple of more options for airflow okay so what i'm going to do is let me just select all logs and here let me select all metrics and we need to decide the destination here so i'm going to send the, all the logs to log analytics workspace which we just created and uh, i'm going to select this de destination table as it is which is resource specific so we are good and we just need to give name to this diagnostic setting let me give the name as anu diagnostic settings okay and let me hit on save so our diagnostic setting is ready so now let's go back to azure monitor and if we scroll up there is something called logs here so if i click on that it is giving me this pop up which is showing me all the available queries so these are the pre built custo queries uh, for different purposes okay so here instead of category we can select this resource type and we can go to azure data factory we need to search for data factory if we scroll down here is something called data factories if we click on that here we can see all the pre built queries if you want to log the trigger runs availability pipeline runs availability activity runs availability or in case if we want to fetch out all the top 5 failures uh, that happened with the trigger run then we can run these queries okay so all these kinds of queries are there so let me go ahead with a sample one let me go with uh, pipeline runs of top 5 failures okay if i click on this run it is generating this pre built uh, custo query okay and it is running the query as well so let's wait so you can see it did not return any result so let's understand this query first so it's basically hitting a table called adf pipeline run so where is this table here you can see there is something called tables so currently it's not displaying anything let's wait for some more time because we just created uh, azure log analytics it's been few minutes only so we will come back after few more minutes and then we will see that the tables might be appearing here okay so uh, here you can see it is hitting this adf pipeline run table and it is trying to fetch out all the pipelines which are not in progress not in queued state and where the failure type is not user error which means if it is system generated error it will fetch out only those pipelines so i don't want this filtration because uh, i might have some pipelines where it is uh, failed because of user error so i am removing this and then it is taking top 5 failed pipelines which have run within last 24 hours okay so now since we have removed the user generated error let's hit on run again and let's see if it is going to fetch any details of the failed pipeline execution so if i go to the uh, adf meanwhile so you can see in the triggered runs in last 24 hours if i see there are many failures because of the triggers okay so let's wait it should fetch these details so it still did not return any result so let's go again to the diagnostic settings let me discard the changes and let's see if uh, the diagnostic setting is enabled or not so you can see this is enabled so we are good uh, so let's wait for some more time because as we discussed here in the logs we are not able to see the tables as of now 
so that might be the reason the query was not returning any result uh, if we directly check if uh, adf pipeline run table is containing any data or not if i click on run so you can see there is no data appearing in the table itself so that's why the qu query was not able to uh, give any result so let's wait for at least uh, 10 more minutes and then we will see if all the data is appearing or not so i'm going to pause this video and we will come back again after 10 minutes okay so after waiting for some time let's go again to the logs and let's see if the tables are appearing or not let me close this so you can see now the tables are appearing adf pipeline run activity run and trigger run all these tables are appearing now so let's try to hit adf pipeline run and let's see if any data comes or not so you can see it has been able to fetch out all the pipeline execution details which has executed within last 24 hours in trigger mode okay and if we compare you can see uh, pl underscore master pipeline is the one which has been triggered and uh, these are the status okay now we can again go to the queries and we can try to search for uh, resource type as data factories and we can try to get the pipeline runs uh, top five failures okay so this is what we were trying to run earlier let me remove this yeah so it's not giving result because our failure type is user error and it is filtering out the those uh, pipeline names so let's run again by removing those uh, filtrations yeah so you can see it is able to fetch out the top five uh, or the latest five pipelines which has failed within 24 hours of range okay so within 24 hours whatever the pipelines have failed uh, the latest five execution uh, is of this pipeline itself okay so now our requirement is whenever the pipeline fails we want to send an alert to our email id okay so for that we have to click on this new alert rule so once we click on that uh, it is able to fetch the same query that we have just ran in the logs okay so what it will do is within 24 hours of time span it will wait for five pipelines to fail and then it will trigger the email alert and it will check every one hour if the count has been equal to five or not if it is still four then it will wait again and next one hour it will again check if the count is five of the uh, failed pipeline runs then it will trigger the email alert okay so for testing we are not going to uh, do for five uh, pipeline failures let me go for top two and we will uh, try to fail two pipelines and we already have a trigger that is running uh, the master pipeline every 10 minutes so we will deliberately fail one more pipeline and we will see if the uh, alert is coming or not okay so instead of one hour uh, let's keep it five minutes in the interval of five minutes it will check if the two pipelines have failed then it will trigger the email alert okay and uh, so here the threshold value that is the failure value uh, i'm giving as zero and uh, evaluation frequency is five which is equal to this uh, aggregation granularity so we are good okay and let's hit on next so here we have to create a action group so as i do not have already created action groups so i'm going to create a new one and let me select the resource group and let me name the action group as a new action group a new ag and let me keep the same display name here and let me hit on review and create and let me click on create now so the action group will be created now yeah so now it's created so let's move on to next tab that is details and here we have to set a alert rule name okay so let me give the name as a new alert rule and before moving on uh, let's go to actions again and let me hit on this action group so here we had missed one thing so here is the place where we have to define the notification type so since we want the email to be triggered so i'm going ahead with this email option okay and here we need to provide the email id where we want the alert to be coming so let me give that and other things are fine for me let me hit on okay and now 
let's give a name to this notification a new notification and we are ready to save the changes so now our action group is updated let's go back to the alert rules so we are good with this and we have give, given the name for alert rule as well let's go to the tags so this field is not mandatory i'm going ahead so let's hit on create and our alert rule is getting created now yeah so now the alert rule is successfully created so where can we check so where can we check if the alerts has been triggered or not here in the alerts option let me hit on ok i don't want to save the changes so here you can see all the alerts that has been triggered within this time range that has set here so uh, these are the old alerts that i had configured earlier uh, let's change it to past one hour and you can see till now the no no alert has been triggered right now and uh, let me meanwhile open my outlook to see if uh, any alert has appeared it will come in others tab so you can see uh, since we have been added to the action group we got this email these two are ads so ignore it so let's wait for the alert to be triggered meanwhile let's check what is happening with the pipeline execution so you can see uh, one pipeline has failed just two minutes back so uh, we are expecting a new alert to be fired once one more pipeline will be failed that means it is waiting for one more pipeline to be failed then it will trigger an alert so what i will do is uh, the next pipeline will run after uh, eight minutes because uh, the schedule is for every 10 minutes so there's a pipeline which i have uh, intentionally made like it will fail because here you can see the variable is boolean and i have given the value as a string so let me hit on trigger now so that it will be caught in that error uh, query so let's wait for this pipeline to be failed let's view the pipeline run yeah so the pipeline has failed so now in total two pipeline has failed already uh, since the time we have created the alert so we are expecting that the alert will be fired soon still it has not fired any alert let's go to the alert rule here and let's check the query once our query will be appearing here so let me take this query and let me go to the monitors logs and let me try to run this query here and let's see what is coming as the output so you can see it is giving the so you can see it is giving the details of all the pipeline that has failed for last 24 hours and it should actually give the alert for top 2 so let's go back here in the alerts uh, okay so the new alert has already fired if we check for the last one hour yeah so this alert has fired just now okay and if i go to the outlook so you can see we got this email alert just now okay and if you want to see uh, the query result it won't be appearing here it is just giving the uh, numbers but it's not giving the details of which two pipelines failed okay so for that we have to see this search results and we would be able to uh, get the pipeline names by running this query itself okay so you can see these two pipelines have failed one is master pipeline and the other pipeline name is fail okay so we are good we are able to get the email alert with the help of log analytics and azure monitors okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you find this video helpful so we aimed to set up the email alert with the help of log analytics workspace for the pipelines which has failed in azure data factory portal so we have seen each of the steps practically so please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you